Hi everybody, today I just want to talk quickly about interval notation and Mobius. Mobius doesn't have a symbol for infinity for many classes, so what you're going to do instead is type in the word infinity whenever you want to end your answer. So for example, if I had this open interval 2 to infinity, I would enter parenthesis 2 comma infinity close parenthesis. If I had something like negative infinity to 4, where it's including the 4, I would enter it as open parenthesis, a negative sign, the word infinity, comma, 4, close the bracket. Let's take a look at that really quick. Ahead of time, I did this problem, 3x minus 13 is less than or equal to 5, and my answer is x is less than or equal to 6. So I want to put this into Mobius. So in Mobius, less than or equal to 6 really means I'm going from negative infinity up until 6, and I have a closed bracket. So I'm going to put a parenthesis. I'm going to type a negative, and then I write the word infinity, comma, 6, close bracket. To check my work, I just click how did I do, and it tells me if I'm right or wrong. Another thing we want to watch for are answers that have a union of intervals. So to enter an answer including a union of two intervals, like negative 2 to infinity, union 7 to infinity, you're going to want to use a capital letter U to represent the union sign. So I worked at number 13 ahead of time, and it turns out the answer is x is less than negative 5 or x is greater than 3, which means I'm going from negative infinity to negative 5, and then I have that union with 3 to infinity, and that 3 is going to be included. So in my box, I'm going to type parenthesis, negative, the word infinity, comma, negative 5, open parenthesis because it was just less than, then a capital U. My second interval where it starts at 3, I want to have a closed bracket to show that I'm including the 3. So there's the 3. And then comma, the word infinity. And then an open parenthesis. So we want to make sure we're really clear with what kind of bracket or parenthesis we use. And then we always want to hit how did I do so it can tell me if I'm right or wrong. So one last thing for this section. If you get a problem that says exact answers, that means it wants either a fraction or a decimal. If the fraction works out nicely, like 1 fourth works out to this pretty decimal of 0.25, either answer would be correct. But if you have an answer, like negative 13 over 6, which as a decimal is negative 2.1666666 forever, then you cannot put in the decimal representation. You would have to put in the fraction. So rounding is not exact. If you get a repeating decimal, enter your answer as a fraction. Question 14 happens to have negative 13 over 6 as the solution. So I put negative 13 over 6 and I say, how did I do? And it says, good job. But watch, if I take that out and I instead try to put in negative 2.167, it's going to mark it wrong. So exact says enter a fraction if it doesn't come out to a nice finite decimal representation. Hope that helps.